Uh, well, certainly the ethos of victimology that they were, you know, orgiastically exhibiting is certainly a, a manifestation of this. So in one of the chapters of the parasitic mind, in chapter five, I talk about uh, collective Munchausen. This is a term that I coined. Uh, Munchausen syndrome and Munchausen syndrome by proxy are psychiatric conditions that already existed. Munchausen syndrome is where someone feigns an illness or an injury so that they can garner the due empathy and sympathy that would come with that, oh, poor you, right? Uh, Munchausen syndrome by proxy is when you take someone who is under your care, typically your biological child, elderly parent, a pet, and you harm them so that you could get, you could garner the empathy and sympathy by proxy. Oh, look at poor me, I'm a parent of an ailing child. So it's really a diabolical psychiatric disorder. And so I had written a paper in 2010, a scientific paper in a medical journal where I was talking about some of the Darwinian implications of Munchausen disorder and so on. And so that's how I was familiar with this uh, psychiatric disorder that very few people had heard of. And so when I started seeing in the zeitgeist in society, this kind of never ending positional arms race of who's going to be the biggest victim, that's when I coined the term collective Munchausen and collective Munchausen by proxy. And, and in this kind of grotesque, you know, uh, theater of the absurd, it is no longer, you know, the merits of my accomplishments that assure that I ascend the hierarchy. It's how great my victimology story is. So, so Princess Harry, despite the fact that he is, that she is the definition of Privilege. I mean, there, there is no greater global instantiation of privilege than the royal family. I mean, by definition, okay? But what a victim. I mean, his wife is a victim. He's a victim. Their child is not going to maybe get a royal title. I mean, my goodness. Who, 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 who could with... I mean, I, am, I was ashamed that I ever complained about running really fast to escape the Islamic militias that were going to decapitate our brain, our, our heads from the rest of our necks and to complain about what I went through in Lebanon when I saw the horrors that Oprah in her, with her, in her home, $90 million home, who was victimized when in 2013, she was in Switzerland and asked for a $38,000 bag to look at it. And the clerk who didn't know who Oprah was said, well, I'm not sure that you can afford this one because that was an instantiation of how much she's been victimized by systemic racism. So to have Oprah in the $90 million home with Megan and her wife together, all claiming that they're victims, really borders on, you know, I can't even come up with satire this profound. And so, yeah, it's a manifestation of exactly what I talk about in chapter five. I am a victim, therefore I am. <laughs>